In this problem, we have a rectangle that has an, a length that is three more than triple the width. We want to find the dimensions of such a rectangle if the area is going to be 36 inches squared. So the first thing we want to do is we want to think about what is area of a rectangle. Well, area of a rectangle is equal to length times the width. Now, they gave us enough information to find a relationship between the length and the width. In fact, they told us that the length is three more than triple the width. So as an equation, length is equal to triple the width, and then three more, so plus three. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take that L and substitute it into our equation for area to get it all in terms of one variable. So we got 3w plus 3 times w is a. This is actually a quadratic because if I distribute the w, I get 3w squared plus 3w. And there's my quadratic function. Now we're looking for one specific one. We're looking for one that has an area of 36 inches. So we're going to be putting that in for the output here. So over here, I'm going to set 36 equal to my quadratic. 3w squared plus 3w. And now some common things that I see at this point. You might, people sometimes try to subtract the 3w and take the square root. We can't do that. Anytime you got a w squared term and a w term, what we're going to need to do is get a quadratic equal to zero and then either factor or use the quadratic formula or use our graphing calculator. So let's see what happens. What we'll do is we'll get it equal to zero. So subtract 36 from both sides. So those cancel. So we have zero equals 3w squared plus 3w minus 36. Let's try factoring first. But you don't have to spend a lot of time on factoring. Because we have a quadratic equal to zero, if this didn't factor, go right to the quadratic formula. Or if you're not sure if it factors, go right, right to the quadratic formula. Now one thing I notice is all of them have a, fact, a term of 3 in it. So I pull out a 3 and I get w squared plus w minus 12. This makes it a little easier to recognize that it's going to factor. Because I'm going to be able to split it into two factors, with w being the first term. The reason I notice it's going to factor is I need to end up with a w in the middle, so I need two factors of 12 that are one apart. Well, 3 and 4. The only thing, last thing is I need it to be a positive w, so I'm going to add 4 and subtract 3. I know my signs will be opposite because of the negative 12. So these are just some things we can look for. So we get w equals 3 from this one. And from here, we get w equals negative 4. Now, it doesn't make any sense to have a negative width. So we're going to get rid of that answer. And w equals 3 is part of our answer. Now, we also have to go back and find L. Remember, we already have a relationship between L and w that we found earlier. So the length is equal to 3 times the width we found plus another 3 or 9. So the dimensions of this rectangle are 9 inches by 3 inches. And that's how we can use a quadratic to solve this problem.